you see the plane and, and you don't quite get the sense of what it's like when you see it static. But when you see it fly and you actually, you know, can uh, get in the aircraft and, and sense that there's, you know, it's, it's not a, uh, it's not like a modern 747 or something like that where it's a sealed aircraft. It's completely open. It's, you know, nothing between you and the outside except a thin layer of aluminum. So we just, you know, want people to realize that, the, you know, these guys went through pre pretty horrible conditions. You know, people shooting at them, flat going off. Uh, freezing temperatures. I mean, at, at altitudes of you know 25, 30,000 feet, it could be anywhere from negative 30 to negative 60 degrees. So all they had is you know just electrically heated suits to keep them warm. And it, you know if those went out, it was uh, pretty pretty uh, miserable conditions. First off, my name is Ray Fowler. I'm the Liberty Foundation Chief Pilot. Thank you. This is a great turnout. This is the first stop of, uh, of our 2013 season with the Memphis Bell, and I see some familiar faces that flew with us last time we're out here, which is great. instructor at Tyndall Field at Panama City and uh, I instructed the B-24 but the B-24 was in such demand because it would haul more bombs and was a little faster etc so we used B-17s to train the students and uh, so that's that's how I flew on the B-17 well, of course, the first invasion I made was Sicily with the British. That was exciting. We got hit there pretty good. The next one was D-Day, and the next one was southern France. And then 30 days later, we went into Holland. <laughs> 